funny. Welcome back to the morning show and Matt Sell and our wise guys here with lemons and the workings <laughs> of batteries and it's also a juggler. Where'd you learn that? Well, you know, it's it's a it's a secret skill that oh, okay. physicists That's possess. Right. So take the juggling class <laughs> as an elective and That's right. There you go. Juggling one oh one. So how do batteries and lemons what do they have in common? Well, actually, batteries are fascinating because people knew about electricity and they knew how to make batteries long before they knew how to generate, you know, alternating current, the kind of stuff that we use right now here right. in the studio, for example. And so people understood that chemistry involved the flow of charges and that you could, by making sort of alternating layers of different kinds of metals and chemicals and things, you could build up electricity and voltages and things mm -hmm. like that. And they didn't quite call it that, but that's what it was. And the, the key to understanding a, a battery can be explained by just making one out of a, a lemon, which is kind of neat, okay? And so what you need are two different kinds of metals, and that's the key to, to most kinds of batteries. You have two different kinds of metals. You put them into a conducting solution, which is typically an acid or a base. Right. And that's what the lemon provides because you have a very weak acidic solution, which is a lemon juice, and you have a chemical reaction which allows charges to flow inside the lemon from one nail to the other. And at the same time, you're going to have charges flowing along a wire from on the outside okay. that, that we can use sure. from one lemon to another. And so the, the easiest thing to do this is to use... Um, galvanize nails for one of the electrodes because that has zinc on it that's okay. how you galvanize nails right. so we're going to just stab that into the lemon right there mm -hmm. and copper copper and if you can't find a copper nail just a piece of copper wire works just as well you stab that into the lemon and before you do this if you kind of just pound the lemon a little bit, a little bit because sure. what happens then is that the juices Juice. inside get uh, sort of flow a little right. more you break all those little sacks and then that means that the charges can flow on the inside a little bit better and so right now there's actually this thing is believe it or not a battery and if I hook up this little voltmeter to it what you're gonna see is that the the copper nail is positive the zinc nail is negative and then this voltmeter reads about wow. 0 0.8 volts 0.9 volts so it's almost a volt Wow, that's which is kind of a lot. Now you think, wow, that's pretty good. So I can take a couple of these batteries and I can run my Game Boy on them. <laughs> there you go. And you probably save on could. the electric bill. Right. Well, the thing is, you probably could, but you couldn't really light up a light bulb. You get very little current out of this. Okay. And so you you get maybe a fraction of a milliamp. And I'll show you when we come back how you can use vinegar and little little containers to make something that you have more current flowing in. But right now you only have about 0.8 volts out of this. But that is uh, okay. Well, so anyways. To, to actually power something where we're going to power this okay. LCD display here in a minute, mm -hmm. 0.8 volts is not enough. Usually, mm -hmm. modern electronic devices need at least a volt and a half. Right. And so we're going to use two batteries, two lemons. So I'm going to make one of these again. More power. More power to you. Okay. Now we're going to hook these in series. That means that okay. the voltages are going to add up. Just keep going through. So we're going to go like this. We're going to hook that one from there to there. Now, when I hook the voltmeter on the outside of this sort of double battery, now I get 1.7 oh, volts doubled here, so it up. doubled it up. Okay, now, we're going to use this, hopefully, okay. to make this little LCD thing light up. All right. Okay, so I'm going to take the negative one. I hope this works because yeah. I, I broke one of these already right here, so this is the second one. Uh, I'm going to put that on where the negative part of the battery used to be, and I'm going to touch this to the, where the positive thing is. Survey oh, says, hey, it, it works. works. Look at that, okay? Very okay. good. So I'm, we're powering this little stopwatch with a lemon, which is silly. Awesome. Not to say yeah, least. but it's fun. It's science. Oh, it really is. It's, right, it is. Very good. And so these things function the same way that regular batteries do, and when we come back, we're going to make a, a more powerful battery oh, yeah. using vinegar. More power with vinegar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The guy who needs more power, never. Robert Reese is up next with Storm Tracker Weather. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.53. Time for Storm Tracker Weather on the Threes here on the morning show.